is up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is danielle today is monday which means it is my day off which also means daily vlog day if you haven't been keeping up mondays are my only days off i'm in cosmetology school from tuesday through saturday and then i work as a waitress on sundays so mondays are my only days off but even though today is my day off i kind of have a lot of things that i need to do but they're all good things, so I am very excited and I'm going to just take you guys along with me. I already just showered, as you could tell. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I need to do that. It's 9.30, but for today, I'm going to try to go and get my nails done and get a pedicure. I have not been to a nail salon since before quarantine, so I am very excited i'm not sure if i'm going to get acrylics i've gotten acrylics for probably like five years now and i've been obsessed with them but because of quarantine they obviously all came off i've been doing like my own nails at home but i think i want acrylics again we'll see though but i definitely need a pedicure and i kind of just want to give myself a little pamper day self-care you know because i haven't in forever and then i also need to go to the bank and just like little stuff here and there so before we do anything though i need to put some moisturizer on my face because i used an exfoliator in the shower but i haven't done like any of my skincare yet so i'm gonna do that and then eat breakfast okay so i'm gonna put you guys there while i show you guys what i've been using so the first thing that I've been using is the 111 Skin, and it's the Pollution Defense Booster. I actually got this off of a BoxyCharm box, and I've been loving it. It feels so good on my skin, and it says it just, like, fights against screen-emitted light, which is, like, your phones, basically anything with a screen like that, and it also, like fights against pollution and stuff which i think is kind of cool i wish i like knew more about that and the actual benefits but all i know is that it feels really good on my skin <laughs> and it hasn't been irritating it so then as per usual my clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator this stuff is my ride or die and then just for a little eye cream i've been using the murad hydration one why am i shaking did you see that i literally take the smallest bit for both eyes but yeah this kind of just like brightens up my eye area it makes it feel so like soothing and now just a little chapstick moment i don't even know what this is my sister got it for me when she gave me like the little box to be her bridesmaid like this came with it and it works really good and it smells really good it smells like coconut like tropical i could spend hours just putting chapstick on my lips because that's how good it feels okay but now we're done so i'm going to go make some breakfast because i'm starving <laughs> Okay, so I have my protein pancake and my tea, and I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Oh yeah, uh, guys, <laughs> I got the freaking iMac, the brand new one. If you didn't watch my unboxing video, I recently just purchased this as an upgrade from my MacBook Air, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is so much better than my macbook air and it helps a lot with imovie like it's so much faster and just because it's so much bigger like i can see everything better and oh my god i'm just obsessed with it but i'm going to eat my breakfast and the nail salon opens in eight minutes so i need to call them and ask them 
if they're available today. So I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so I just spent an hour watching YouTube videos and catching up. I totally forgot to tell you guys that I have a doctor's appointment later too. And it kind of just reminded me of something that happened yesterday that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about because I love being real and raw with you guys especially knowing that if something similar happens to you I can connect with people that way and feel better about it so basically to sum it all up yesterday me and my boyfriend went out to this little like breakfast coffee place and I had a really bad anxiety attack it came out of absolutely nowhere. I have like a bit of claustrophobia anxiety and just in that moment there were so many people there. It was very hot. I was wearing my mask. Like just I didn't feel safe. I didn't feel right and I just felt like confined and claustrophobic. So my boyfriend was actually in the line waiting to get our coffee and breakfast and I was sitting at a table by myself and I just felt very shaky and tense and like claustrophobic and then he came over and he knew something wasn't right he's like what's wrong and I just started bawling my eyes out and I felt really embarrassed because that this has never happened to me ever like, yes, I have anxiety. I get really bad plane anxiety, like long car rides, like just being confined and claustrophobic. I get anxiety. Or if I just don't feel like at home or like at peace or like safe, it happens that way too. So it was just so weird because it's never happened to me like in a situation like that. So my doctor's appointment reminded me of that because I'm gonna obviously talk to my doctor about it. I'm one to always go to the doctors and be like, yeah, like I'm fine, I'm doing great, nothing's wrong, which nothing is wrong, but I never mention like anxiety to them because it's not an everyday thing. Like it just happens out of the blue. But yeah, I felt like really bad about myself yesterday because I was like, what is wrong with me like that has never happened like what is wrong with you that was kind of my mental state yesterday but i'm a lot better now i feel <laughs> very good today and my boyfriend helped me a lot yesterday like we just went back to the car and he made it better but yeah so if any of you guys suffer with anxiety like that and if anything like that has happened to you and you feel comfortable talking about it I would love that because it'll make me feel more at peace knowing that like other people are like that. I know so many people, my friends have it, so I know, but like just to be in public like that and just start bawling my eyes out, it was so weird. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I know sometimes YouTubers, they can come off as like their life being perfect or... I know a lot of YouTubers try to say, like, my life is not perfect, everyone thinks it is, and honestly, no one's perfect. Like, nobody. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to share that. But yes, so it is 1040. I'm going to actually start getting ready. I have to blow dry my hair. It's still kind of damp. And I'm probably just going to do, like, the smallest bit of makeup because I have to wear a mask the whole time. So I will talk to you guys when I'm all ready. Okay, so I finished getting ready. I just blow dried my hair, literally put on mascara, and did my eyebrows. <laughs> but this is my outfit. My bodysuit is from Express. My shorts are from Calvin Klein. And then just because I'm getting a pedicure, I just wore black flip-flops, so nothing fancy. But it's now 11.38. My appointment is in 20 minutes, but I need to stop at the post office because my stepdad needs to return something. So I'm going to go do that for him and then I'll be getting my nails done. So 
gone back home and I got my nails done. I have not had acrylics on my nails in six months. So this feels like so weird to even just go like this, like play with my hair. Oh my God. I missed this so much, but I got like a lavender purple. It was called Easter Sunday. We're nowhere near Easter, but this is my favorite color. If you couldn't tell, it's my phone case color. <laughs> Not phone case. It's my phone color too. But yes, they look so good. And I got the same on my toes, but I'm not going to show you my toes. But it is 155. I actually thought I was going to be there way longer than that, but I wasn't which is good. So I'm going to eat a little something before I have to go to my doctor's appointment because I haven't eaten lunch yet and it's almost two o'clock. So I'm gonna figure out what I want, but I need to go eat. All right, you guys. So I'm like absolutely rushing right now to go to my freaking doctor's appointment. So I didn't even show you what I ate for lunch because I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize like I have to leave. But I had a chicken wrap. I didn't even finish it because I was like hungry, but I wasn't. But it's 2.40 and it takes exactly like 20 minutes to get there. So I'm gonna be right on time. Hopefully there's no traffic or anything. But if you guys were wondering if you guys care, you probably don't. But this is just like an annual physical checkup. Oh, they just like weigh you, take your blood. Like, make sure everything's good, you know? Ask you, like, 30,000 questions, and then you basically leave. So, once that's over, I will talk to you guys after. Okay, so I'm back from the doctor's. It's actually been a few minutes, but it's 5 o'clock now. And the doctor's went good. Everything was fine. I did get my finger pricked for blood test, but it's gone. But I changed into my comfy crew neck if you're wondering this is from target it just says nyc it is so comfortable but i'm gonna be in for the night so i just wanted to be comfy but i'm gonna go through my little agenda and just like write out my week schedule i have school this week so i have clients and i'm also going to start prepping for september because i have a few september clients so i just want to kind of get everything prepared for this week and just september because it's already going to be september next week which is just like crazy <laughs> i don't even know where the summer went i feel like i didn't even have a summer because i was in school but i'm so excited for fall like i know so many people get annoyed because they're like oh my god girls always hype up summer and then when fall comes hype up fall like they just hype up everything but no i hype up fall and that's it like period fall is my favorite holiday hands down I just said fall is my favorite holiday. Fall is my favorite season. <laughs> but anyways. So yes, I'm just going to get everything organized and then I'll talk to you guys after. for the night I'm lying because I am craving Starbucks right now I don't know why I just got a very weird craving I was about to start editing a video but then I was like I can't do that without Starbucks so <laughs> I'm gonna head there now so let's go thank you so much we have starfeed today 
can I have a venti pink drink with no berries? A venti pink drink with no berries, you got it. Can I get you something else today? Yep, can I also get a grande iced skinny vanilla latte? A grande iced, you said skinny vanilla latte, but you like something else with that today? That's it. Perfect 1017 and we'll see you up front. Thank you. Need to find 17 cents. Oh my God, I literally cannot see. Guys, I'm driving and vlogging, but I needed to say this. Literally, <laughs> I feel like this always happens to me. So I get a pink drink with no berries. And for some reason, they always make it with berries. And then they'll either realize it and be like, oh shit, like I need to remake this. So this always happens, but they never actually give me the one that they mess up. But this time they did. They gave me the good one and then they were like, so we accidentally made one with berries. Do you want it? Like, do you want to just take it? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to just take it. It's free, so why not? So I'm being a good girlfriend and I'm bringing it to my boyfriend instead of keeping it. So that's why I'm driving right now to go drop off his drink. I already dropped off my mom's drink to her, so heading to my boyfriend's house but yeah i just wanted to say that because that always happens to me Hello. look what i came home to <gasps> well it would look better if you put the corn in the thing i know there's <laughs> supposed to be corn in this not just butter you want to put a corn for you? have a burger with a side of butter um this one hey you're just yelling at him. All right, you guys, so I just ate dinner. It's almost eight o'clock already, but for the rest of the night, I'm going to finish editing a video that I wanna post tomorrow. The video will be up before this one, and it's going to be a hair tutorial video, so if you wanna go check it out, I'll put the icon up here or up here. I don't remember which side, but really quickly i just wanted to talk about this new mic that i got for voiceovers so since i'm going to be doing a lot more client videos i like to do it as a voiceover so i really wanted to invest in getting a mic so this is the blue snowball mic a lot of gamers use this but my boyfriend has it and it was only 50 bucks so i was like i'll just get this one and it works really well it just has the wire with the USB that you plug in and once you go into iMovie you can hit voice record and it does it right away. So basically for the rest of the night I'm just going to be editing this video so that I can post it. But that is it for this vlog. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!